Today, I have been doing some things off camera. First thing, I ran a few votes. Now, I think I ran four in total, three of which we died in. And we did lose everything we had, but luckily I have enough gold to buy it back. I think each one cost nine gold, and that is vault gold, obviously. So if I can find them clips, I will put them on screen. I did also complete one. As you can see, we have the actual uh, completion crate right there. We also complete two bounties. And then this is everything we got within the vault. It's not really too much. It's more just a load of scrappy items. I think the good stuff is within this chest, which as you can see, quite a few ores. Uh, also a shield and also a uh, gilded affinity for 20 size. Also three mystery boxes, which we could really just open. Uh, Lamar and diamonds, that's actually not too bad either. Let's quickly just open these two as they're bounty crates. They, I did not mean to roll that gear, but I guess it's rolled. 25 Lamar, that's not too bad. And then some more gold, bronze and silver. Uh, that chest piece is... Okay, it's not too bad. The healing efficiency is kind of good on it. And then the actual monolith crate has... Oh, wow. Okay. Two blank steels. They're really good. Let's then also move some of this up. The jewel. Eh, not too bad. No, that's quite high. Uh, wooden affinity for 22. That's not too bad. There's also a relic and also then some vault gear. So while all the vault gear is rolling, let's hope this is a new relic. Uh, I think that is actually miner's relic. Do we have any in the miner set? Don't. Oh, we do. So that's now two within the miner set. That's pretty cool. And that sword is kind... Okay, that sword's not too bad. Them leggings are actually really good. They're 10 armor compared to what we currently have, which is just 6. Uh, helmet, 6, and then 3. So that's 9 compared to the 6 we currently have. Boots are uh, once again... Wow, the armor is actually really good. Let's go and put all this over here. As this is all going to be replacement armor if my current armor dies. What I now want to do is I'm going to run a few vaults. These vaults are going to be mainly just off camera. If I come across anything worth showing in videos, then I will. My main goal is to reach level 25. The main reason for that is we need to complete this actual quest right here. And you have to apply an infused crystal to a folk crystal in an anvil. And we can't do that yet due to us needing the thing that goes within this slot right here. Which I don't actually know what it is, but I do know it requires dream stones which you can't actually find until level 24. So let's jump into a vault. We do have some actual bounties we can complete. This is actually insane. A stack of chromatic iron in both of these. I just thought before we actually jump into this vault, let's quickly also just spend our skill points because we haven't done that since they were reset. So I think I want to go in. We have Fame Miner is now maxed out at four. Uh, do we just completely max this out while we are here? I guess we'll come back to that. Nova, uh, Rampage, Ghost Walk, Dash. We definitely do want some in Dash. How many does Dash go up to? It doesn't stay up here. Uh, eight. So let's maybe go four in Dash. I think that should be kind of good. We then have Shell. I don't think I want any of the others. Javelin I know is kind of good. But I don't think I want that just yet. Uh, I do want Hunter, although Hunter has now been changed. So this one is, I think, by default, wooden chests. So then we've got Smite, Taunt, Stonefall, Mana, Shield. Okay, we'd also... No, I don't actually think we need Farmer now. It, it was good when we had it, but I don't think we need any more due to, obviously, the villagers. So the next thing is stuff within here. These are also skill points, I believe. So let's go. That's four. Uh, let's go one in haste. I think haste is going to be kind of good to have. Uh, let's also maybe go two in strength. I think that's going to be good to have so we deal more damage. Do we do gain extra soul chance uh, while killing mobs with full mana? I think that could be kind of cool. Then we also gain extra mana regen while at full health. I don't really care about mana right now because we're not really using a lot of mana. We then do also have some potion ones right here. Gives you an extra chance to not consume a potion charge and extends the duration of vault potion effects when drinking. I think that's definitely go for maybe two in witchery. That gets us up to 40%. And let's go one in this for now. That gets us up to 10%. And then back to here, I think we want to go maybe let's go javelin now. It is two. That makes it so we can uh, make it so it's 8% damage, one knockback. Yeah, 
let's do that i guess and the next one would be it just increases the damage and lowers the cooldown we've jumped into the first vault and the first room is actually a treasure mark room so let's quickly just head down i do really need to be careful of this though because the vault is chunky mobs so mobs have a plus 10 health so let's quickly just do this i guess actually doing dash on as well is going to be good right here just in case i do want to put a block right there uh come on do i have to be on the floor i think maybe you do so let's go down is it gonna be okay is it nice or is it no it's horrible Well, it didn't go to plan. I run five volts and only completed one volt. I died in four of them. I'm dying a lot more. I think I do need to upgrade my armor because now we're on level 20. Uh, you can get tier two mobs, which are obviously a lot tankier. And volts just seem a little bit harder because there are more mobs with projectiles like tridents and arrows. And it's just a lot harder to dodge them so we only completed one but we are on level 23 i'm hoping we can get that little bit more with burgers as we should be able to it's only half a level or just over half but here is everything i got within the vault i have organized it in to basically rubbish items and good items all of these are from the vaults we died in and also the one we completed there is quite a lot of junk and also some good stuff within there but here is everything that I actually wanted to keep. As you can see, quite a lot of armor. We also got a 11 size gilded, uh, 85 ornate that can be burnt, 62 axing that can also be burnt, 20 gilded, 68 picking that can be burnt. Oh wow, 51 for a legendary plus 10% trap disarm, that's kind of good. Uh, 22 size for mining speed. Uh, 46 and also 16. We then also did get 28 relic boosters, 8 volt diamonds, also 12 mod boxes, a shield, some ores. There's also 17 size right there. And then inside of here as well, we got a gilded chest scroll, two wooden, a mystery egg. So once again, some more vault gear. Uh, 25 shoveling, 84. That's kind of high. And 41. I'll roll all the vault gear later. I don't want to do that just yet. Let's also just burn them real quick. And let's now see. Do we get any relics from these? Uh, don't look like it. Nope. Okay. One relic, I think. Uh, elemental set. I think I already have that one. I do. Then we also got 12 mod boxes, which we can quickly just roll. Uh, nine Larimar did way I forgot to empty these so some of that could have actually gone into here inside of the backpacks weren't really too much three more vault diamonds eight Larimar 13 knowledge essence a gilded uh, no a wooden chest scroll and also a chest piece before we see if we can do that let's quickly just open all this there we go and it all went into the backpack that's totally fine we got one more relic booster uh, we got 24 jewel, 63, that's kind of high. More vault gear, 41 and 84, that's kind of high as well. Then I'll roll all the vault gear together at the end. Five mod boxes, 108 of the actual chromatic high, and that's insane. Then also more vault gear and 31 for item quantity. 
that's not too bad. Now, I do have two more bounties, which one is to light a monolith, and one is to find two pottery shards, so we can't do them both in the same vault. So now let's quickly see, can we actually now unlock create? I think we should be able to. Let's also turn off the backpack a second and roll these five mystery boxes. Uh, what did we get? Diamonds, I think, because nothing else has the arrow above it. So I only have one Benniotite. I think I do want to obviously mine up some more. Let's not take anything out there. Let's actually grab our fortune pickaxe, which it's right here. And let's mine it from these. I think this one is the one with the ores. Yeah. Let's mine up all of the stone ones, just because obviously I don't have room for stone ores. So this is 21 Benniotite. From that 21 Benniotite, we got 50. Oh, wow. No, I had one on me, so we got 49. So we can now make one of them. Then we need, what is it, Volt Diamonds, I think? We have 70 Volt Diamonds. Oh, wow. So that's surrounded by that. Gets you a core. And then, is it Knowledge Essence? Obviously, yeah, we have nine. So let's do that. And uh, then we need the core in the center. That's now five. So we need one more, which we should definitely be able to do. Uh, can we do that, actually? Yeah, we have 14 right there. So we just need some more Benniotite which we do have right there. We need four of them. And then with that being said, we can now do that with more Volt Diamonds. Can we actually unlock any more? Let's quickly just see. Uh, knowledge Essence, we have... No, we can't actually make any more. We are just short, I think. So let's now quickly claim all of these. And let's now go and see. Create, create, create. Where is it? It's right here. Yes, there we go. And we now have Create. We have also unlocked a Transmorg for helmet, chest piece, leggings, and boots. So now we have Create. We'll work on that, I think, in the next video. I don't think I want to start working on Create today because we are going to try and get to level 25 and complete some more of these actual quests. So we want burger pieces. Let's go through and grab all of them. So do we make this one? The double, uh, what is it called? The double cheeseburger. Uh, I think so. That should get us, because we do have quite a lot of patties. So that can get us 13. So let's make them 13. That is obviously now all of that gone. Let's now quickly eat these ones to see how high these ones can get us. Okay, these ones are getting us up quite high. We are almost there. Can we actually do it with these? No, we're not going to be able to, but we are going to be close. Okay, we are one bar away. We are now on level 24. That is really good. So we can throw the rest of them away. And now what we need to do, that's my fortune pickaxe, that can go over there. Now what we need to do is run a vault and mainly focus on, what is it, gilded. Okay, the first room is a uh, crystal cave. It needs to load in for a second. Uh, there is also bonus orinate around, so we will obviously loot these. Well, I died in the last vault and I have now jumped into another one. And we have just got a dreamstone, as you can see right there. I forgot to bring shulker boxes in this one with me, so I guess we can't really loot much more. I don't want to die with this dreamstone, although I do keep it, I guess, if I do die. We have completed the vault, so it's now basically just the fact of looting up until we're ready to leave. This has been an OP vault. I found two of these rooms. We can't do this one because I only have a minute left. I also just found a village room, which the village room do have dungeons below. I think there is a chance for them to be living. The actual dungeon below the village and a third one of these. What is going on? We do have to leave though, so I can't actually do these, which is a shame. But yeah, it's a shame I couldn't loot the gilded village dungeon and also them two X marks. But well, let's leave and then I guess let's also quickly just do these. So oh, I got a relic. I think we already have that one though. I was trying, hoping not to get a relic, so I could have room, there we go, so I have room for the actual box. 13,000 XP, not too bad, almost to level 25, but that's not what we wanted. We wanted the Dreamstones, which we now have, so we can finally progress in the actual, let's throw that there real quick. Now let's quickly see, so we need to make, what is it called, Essence in some way? I don't actually know the exact name for it, so let's quickly just type here Essence, and hopefully, yes, this thing right here. So let's make this, 
We are missing what goes in the center. Beniotite. I think we should be able to make one of them. We can. So there we go. We now have that. So I now need the catalyst. Perfect. And let's now go over here because I do actually need to make a crystal. So we need two diamonds. We can do that. We need 80 arrows. We can definitely do that. We need 23 netherrack. I don't actually think we can do that. So there we go, we can now finally complete this crystal. So let's quickly just do that. I haven't also checked what is in these from that vault. Okay, some basic items, not really anything too major. We did get a living chest scroll, which is kind of cool. So that can go with the rest. And we did get quite a few catalyst fragments. I think that's because we did have like a modifier. But anyway, let's now complete this actual quest, which we just need to throw this in an anvil with that. And that adds gilded to it. There we go. For completing that, we get another one of them. The next is the soul diffusion, which acquire a soul diffuser. We can do that. Uh, that we can throw into there. We don't need that right now. Let's also throw all that in there. So we need to acquire one of these, which I'm pretty sure if I just break that. Yep, there we go. So now that I'm pretty sure the reward for that was like 250 soul shards. It is. So let's now claim that. So acquire a modifier workbench. What is that? Is that this? Let's quickly just turn on tooltip so I know. No, it's not that. Is it this? Yes, it's this thing right here. So let's break that. There we go. That is now that quest completed. The next thing is storing gear. So what? Interact with a wardrobe. And there we go. There is now the wardrobe. I don't actually know what this does. I think it's just a way to store vault gear on. Which I don't think I will be using these anytime soon. So interact with it. Yeah, as you can see, we can swap it. So it basically does it. So the vault gear goes from the from us into the wardrobe. So we've now done that, which gives us another wardrobe. Next is multiple builds. Interact with a skull skill altar. What is a skill altar? We don't have one of them. So I guess we have to go and make one. A skill altar. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but I don't think it should be. Skill altar is this thing. Okay, it is quite expensive. So there we go. We now have the skill altar. So let's throw that maybe next to our wardrobe. I don't see. Uh, maybe it can go right next to it. So what is this? I don't actually know what this does. I think it's to. Okay, it's to save your abilities and talents. So you can switch between like sets. That's actually really cool. I like this. And so maybe we'll mess with that in a future video. So now next. That gives us 10 regret orbs. That's actually really good. So now is interact with a transmodification table we can definitely do that just by doing that there we go that is it interacted with that gives us 64 bro bronze seals and crystals apply a seal of the architect to a vault crystal so skill of a architect is this one so it's objective none okay how is this crafted we can almost make it what are we missing vault diamond block okay yep we've got that so there we go that is now that crafted and we need to apply this to a crystal. Uh, was that what we had to do? Uh, let's quickly just see. Apply a seal of architect to a vault crystal. The seal of architect is one such seal. With this seal, you can add special rooms to your crystal by applying inscriptions. Without any room inscriptions applied, the vault will be empty. So make sure to apply a room to your crystal. So there we go. We have now completed this crystal. So let's just see. Can we apply this to it now? Or does there have to be something else done to the crystal first? So this is the one with no gilded. Okay, we can. So there we go. So time is 10 seconds. So we have to build that up, which we'll do maybe later. That could be maybe a project we work on. So the next thing within the book is inscriptions, which, okay, now we can learn a bit more about these. Inscriptions can be crafted in an inscription table or rarely acquired from completion crates 20 plus and living chests 30 plus. These can be applied to a crystal that contains a seal of archetype and we will add certain rooms or traits. So opening this and we did get one. No, that's an augment. Okay, that's the deep mesa theme. But anyway, I think that is where I'm going to end this video. Off camera, I am going to sort out all this junk and pull it over into the storage room. I am going to leave the shulker rocks with all the vault gear here. So in the next video, we can open that all. And then also in the next video, we are going to work towards create or work on create because we now have it unlocked. And we're also hopefully going to see if we can do something about this. But anyway, with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, do leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. I do quickly just want to throw these into there. Oh, wow. Okay, we actually have quite a lot of scrolls. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.